Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we're going to have a look at this Asus uh, laptop that is known as the Asus ZenBook A14 and this is a very thin and light laptop as you can see. This is actually a 14 inch laptop but weighs just 980 grams and the best part about this one is that this is running on the new Snapdragon X processor and just let me have a look and it locked in and I have to say that this has to be one of the most uh, premium and uh, what do you say first free experience that I had with Windows laptop uh, again the battery life is incredible on this one and it actually performed way better than what I expected and some of you have asked me also to do a, uh, edit a video on this one so I did the uh, use DaVinci and I edited a video I'll talk about all those aspects in this video so guys this is the Asus ZenBook A14 and as you can see uh, this is it and it's very very, very light as I've told you in just 980 grams and the build quality is also very good in fact uh, the outer chases and the interior is made up of this new material known as Cerulumium which is a mixture of aluminium and ceramic hence again you won't get any scratches on this laptop or it actually also resists the fingerprints and the build quality i have to say is really really good it's a thin and light uh, laptop that you're getting and i also like the fact that though it's thin and light it, the asus did not compromise on the ports of this one as you can see we are getting a full size uh, hdmi port on this one you also get actually two usb type uh, c ports these are actually full 40 gigabit so you can actually uh, using these uh, uh, ports you can connect actually a total of three monitors to this uh, laptop if you want again we also have an integrated audio out uh, here we also have a small led light over here uh, moving to this side i really appreciate that you still have a usb a port which is again very very useful and you'll also notice that the lip is over here and asus uh, has this uh, 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 hinge which they call it easy lift and i have to say it's very very easy if i just show you if i just pick it up like this it easily opens up and in terms of security if you notice it has that uh, windows hello authentication uh, in fact it also has the microsoft pluton chip for security and again the, the screen is a 14 inch screen it's an oled screen that you're having and i like that it's in the aspect ratio of 16 by 10 which is actually good for productivity work because you get that slightly extra uh, space on this one uh, coming to uh, the processor on this one uh, this is actually special and another thing i liked is that if you notice the bezels are very very thin so it's a actually they say it's almost about 90 percent screen to body ratio also i like the fact that uh, the screen quality on this one is very very good and it's a very color accurate screen that uh, they are actually giving uh, it's 100 percent dc ip3 uh, uh, caliber and it's a 60 hertz screen that you're going uh, so even if you're doing some creative work like video editing or photo or editing and stuff uh, uh, it it's a actually very good quality uh, screen that you're getting so in terms of hardware overall i have to say asus has done a very very good job uh, you get the premium hardware also uh, the keyboard has backlighting i disabled it but you can enable it and it's a as you can see three step backlighting on this one uh, also the key travel is good i also like that the trackpad is actually fairly big for a, such a compact size laptop and also these areas for example this uh, if you see you can adjust the volume if i just slide it over here and this uh, actually you can adjust the brightness directly from here so these are also touch uh, sensitive areas that you are getting on the laptop the laptop is super super silent in operations though it actually has two fans again i opened the lid and as you can see this is the internal image you do have two fans on this one and uh, one good thing i noticed is that the ssd that we have on this one is actually user replaceable the default ssd that you get with the configuration is actually a 512 gigabyte ssd and it's a pcie 4 ssd it's a very fast ssd let me just log in and windows hello is also there let me just lower the brightness to give you an idea and guys here are all the specs for your uh, reference and the big thing about this laptop is that uh, uh, there's a full-fledged windows laptop and you also get that uh, windows uh, what do you say uh, microsoft office home tour 2024 uh, 20, uh, built in with this you don't have to buy a separate license and again in day-to-day -day operations with windows uh, stuff uh, it has been performing very very well i did not have any issues with this uh, laptop uh, the front-facing camera is actually a, a full hd camera 
and uh, here is a quick uh, sample uh, that I recorded with the same. Hi guys, recording this part of the video with the front facing web camera of this Asus laptop. Top. Now the biggest uh, difference between this laptop and traditional Windows laptops is that this is powered by the Snapdragon X Elite chip which is ARM chip different from what do you say uh, the Intel or the AMD chips that you are getting and that's why the performance of this laptop is very very good in terms of I would say uh, heating almost no heating with this laptop even when I was actually doing video editing and stuff the laptop simply did not get hot at all just slightly warm and also though this uh, technically has two fans the laptop is actually super super silent I could only hear the fans when I was just putting my ear around this one so though it has having the two fans it's super super silent and also uh, the laptop simply does not have any heating issues which is such a great thing and I think so because of that because of the snapdragon chip on this one the battery life that you're getting on this one in fact in terms of battery life also though it's a thin and light laptop the battery capacity is actually pretty big it's a 70 watt hour battery on this one and uh, Asus claims that if you're just watching videos and stuff on this laptop uh, you will be getting about 24 hours but again that is with the preloaded video let's say you're on a flight or something but in the actual day-to-day -day, uh, usage uh, when you're on Wi-Fi let's say you're browsing the web uh, watching YouTube uh, videos etc on this one uh, uh, I would say you can get anywhere from 11 to 14 hours of battery life which is incredible and I also ran uh, some benchmarks as you can see this is the Geekbench let me show you the Geekbench app over here and this gives you an idea about the processor as of today it is having the Snapdragon X uh, processor and again uh, the Snapdragon X processor so come in two variants guys this is the regular snapdragon x that we have on this laptop which is actually an eight core processor uh, we also get the snapdragon x elite which is actually a 12 core processor now moving towards ai the snapdragon x is not a slouch it actually supports all the ai features thanks to uh, the npu that has 45 tops that is 45 trillion operations per uh, second that's why it has copilot plus two features for example uh, it also has this dedicated button for copilot and if you just press it the copilot invokes and here you can now ask it any question like chat gpd etc also you can ask it to create images also for example let's do that create an a cookie image with android logo it's a weird uh, one and as you can see it's immediately now trying to do that and it will create this and uh, because of the 45 tops most of the stuff is done locally in the Pacific. and as you can see it has created it uh, so it's very good so we can download it and now it's downloaded and uh, we can play around with it for example we can launch uh, paint uh, this is having the copilot over here and you can use uh, quite a few tasks for example let's use the remove background and let me just open up one of the screenshot from uh, what this I had taken from the webcam and let's say we want to remove the background we can just go to the copilot over here and just hit remove background and as you can see it has done this and how quickly it did it because of the dedicated npu we have on it and as you can see this is the front facing camera and i'm actually getting an effect of background blurring and stuff like that if you notice and this is done by the npu if i go to the settings as you can see the npu is being used over here instead of the processor for all this uh, i'm i'm going to remove the automatic frame i was using it and also this background blur effect that i'm giving portrait blur this is how actually it looks but again as you can see if you can use the ai tools and i can actually make the let's make the background effect uh, over here let's put this over here so again it uh, did the background and gives a portrait blur uh, for example i am in focus and the background and this is the standard blur again uh, you have options like that you can do this for this blurring etc if i go to the npu it is actually using the npu to do all these tasks not the cpu and the gpu uh, that way again it gets great battery life even for ai task some of you have asked me about the compatibility as this is running on an arm processor i personally did not have any issues in my day-to-day -day, uh, task uh, even uh, digitally signing uh, documents etc was not an issue but uh, uh, i would say it will be good for about 90 percent of the users 
but again if you have some speciality kind of a software just go to this uh, website that is known as windows on arm.org and here as you can see uh, just scroll down yeah, and if you just click here it will load a lot more apps and here you can check if your app that you need for your work is compatible or not for example as i've told you uh, the adobe acrobat that i use for digitally signing this one it says that it's emulated that means it's not a native app uh, but again i did not have any problem in fact windows on arm uh, if the app is not compatible uses in the background prism to make it run on this laptop uh, so again check out this website that is windows on arm but overall as a laptop i have to say uh, the performance of this laptop was very very good and again the best part is that uh, even when i was using it continuously and even when i was do doing that 4k video editing the laptop simply did not get hot just slightly warm and also no fan noise so th that way i have to say this was the most premium uh, experience that i had on a windows laptop so guys, this was the Asus ZenBook A14 laptop powered by the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon X processor. And I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this laptop. I feel this laptop is for mobile professionals who travel a lot and want a very light and thin laptop. At just 980 grams, as you can see, I'm just holding it in a single hand. And if you travel a lot, you'll really, really appreciate it. Also, I like the build quality on this one. That's it, aluminum. Actually, resists scratches and fingerprints on this one. And it's looks like it's going to be very very durable and i have to say the performance of the laptop was also very very good and the best part about this laptop as it's running on the snapdragon chip was the battery life and almost no heating that i i noticed battery life as i've told you uh, is very very good if you're just doing regular tasks anywhere from 10 hours to about even close to about 14 hours you can get on this uh, laptop uh, so overall i would say if you're looking for a thin and light laptop you can definitely have a look at this one and the model that uh, i have tested is coming with the snapdragon x processor but again if you are planning to do some heavy tasks like video editing etc you do that often and stuff then maybe you should look at the snapdragon x elite version of this uh, laptop and again guys this was a review unit so and it will be going back uh, to asus very soon and i'm actually a little bit saddened to see this uh, go away uh, so this was the zenbook a14 do let me know what do you feel about the same uh, this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video guys take care